When uh, a prospective client decides to hire a magician, where does he turn? Remember, this is someone who's ready to buy. He practically has his checkbook in his hand. Does he look in the local penny saver or the ads in the daily paper? Does he go on a tour of grocery store bulletin boards? Does he look in his filing cabinet for a selection of the brochures some magicians mail out or the coupons they put in Valpac? No, he looks in the Yellow Pages. Your Yellow Pages ad is in front of your market for a full year. Everybody who looks at your ad is quite literally looked you up. You don't have to convince them to buy. You have to convince them to choose you over your competitors. And let's narrow down which of them are legitimate publishers. You'll get calls from the military Yellow Pages, the Hispanic Yellow Pages, the high school athletic team's annual calendar, and on and on. Some localities are lucky enough to have a single Yellow Pages publisher in their area. Others have two. Chances are, if you want complete coverage, you need to be in both companies' Yellow Pages. Because when people look in the book, they look in one book or the other, not both. Let's work out a strong Yellow Pages advertising program. The good news is that 95% of all Yellow Pages ads are weak. It costs you no more to run a super effective ad than it does to run a poorly conceived, ineffective one. You may decide to go with a display ad or stay in column. There are advantages and disadvantages to each. Here's the way I put the issue in my birthday party business video. There's a temptation to waste your money on ads that produce more business than you can handle. I find that the smallest ad they'll put a box around is the one for me. It's visible because of the box. It's guaranteed to be in the column where the heading is and not out on the edge where a display ad might wind up. And it looks more professional than a plain listing. You don't have to buy a larger ad than your competition. You just have to buy one that a comparison shopper will be sure to include in her list of calls. Study your competitors' ads. Look at them before the sales rep visits. Those are the ones you have to look as good as. Make your small space pay off big. A generous use of space in column can really stand out. The ad rep will be glad to sell you extra lines for an extra charge. There are plenty of opportunities to draw the reader's eye. If you're in column and not using a display ad, you'll have to have your name at the top. 
You may choose to use your own name or make up a business name. That choice dictates your alphabetical placement among your competitors in any category, and it affects how many people decide to call you in the literally fraction of a second they devote to each listing when deciding how many to call. You could simply list under your own personal name, but you don't have what advertisers call name recognition. Everybody knows who Houdini is, who David Copperfield is, but they have no idea who John Doe is. As the client's eye goes down the listings, they're going to see Bingo the Clown and Misto the Magician and Abracadabra Company and John Doe and Presto Magic Entertainment and about 50 others. Which two or three are they going to call? If you're not using your own name, the Yellow Pages reps will insist on seeing proof that you're legally doing business under the business name you choose. A name like that is called a DBA, for Doing Business As. It has a good purpose. It puts on the public record who the company belongs to, and it guarantees you the exclusive right to use that name in your area. To register my DBA, I had to go to the county courthouse and pay $10 to register the name. It was really a simple matter. Your business can have multiple names, and you can register multiple DBAs. That may be useful in placing your listing in multiple Yellow Pages headings. I gave in to the Battle of the A's and listed under AAA Clowns and Magicians in the Clown heading and AAA Magicians and Clowns in the Magic heading. That gets my listing up near the top of the column. And I have to be honest with you, I really haven't done the research yet to know whether I get an advantage from having my listing at the top of the heading any more than the sleazy impression uh, given by that row of A's. I have found that among the possible classifications I could advertise under, there are only two that really pull results. I limit my advertising to the clown and magician heading. The next logical option, entertainers, includes so many bands, DJs, strippers, Elvises, and the like, that I rarely ever got any calls from an ad in that category. The salesperson may offer you a listing in a special section, just for parties, or a section of coupons, but the users don't know about it, they go straight to magician or to clown. The ad salespeople are experts in getting you to spend more than you should. They've devised so many special extra cost options that they'll make your head spin. And they have a really sneaky trick. They offer you some really valuable upgrade as a promotion if you spend just a little more than you were planning. But next year, not only will that promotional offer be gone, it'll cost you a lot to keep it. And if you decide you don't want it if it's not free anymore, you will be considered to have reduced your ad program, and you may find yourself no longer eligible for other benefits you would have received had you just bought the ad you planned to last year and declined the promotional offer. This is the advice you'll typically get from a yellow page rep. Use a big ad. Use a heavy border around your ad. Add color to it. Use a bigger ad. Make your name and logo really big and have a lot of white space in your ad. Use an even bigger ad. Give your hours of operation, phone number, address, MasterCard and Visa logos if you accept them. Use more than one really big ad under multiple listings. Forget all of those ideas. The ad salespeople will tell you great stories and give you statistics about the results of using color or white background or display ads instead of ads in the text column. All of those options are expensive and unnecessary. Remember, you have to pay for anything you order in the Yellow Pages for a full 12 months, and there's no way to back out for that length of time. It's like hiring a salesman who sleeps on the job and whom you're not allowed to fire. It's especially easy to get carried away trying to outsize your competition. Remember, you don't have to blow the other guy out of the water. You just have to be one of the people a shopper will definitely call, preferably first or near first. Designing a powerful ad is not rocket science. 
It just requires a little care and the kind of thought a lot of entertainers don't enjoy. Don't think like a magician. Don't think like a business owner. Think like a client. What does the client want? Be the first guy to promise it to them, and your sales will skyrocket. Remember what we just covered in the business card section? Do what your competitors have usually failed to do in their advertising. Put benefits in your headline, if you have a display ad, and in the remainder of your copy. Remember, a feature is what you do, a benefit is what's in it for the customer. A feature is, I do great slides and I know 10 ways to vanish a sponge ball. A benefit is free balloons for everybody and your child will star in the big trick of the show. And free gift for the birthday child. Use the words you and your. The client doesn't care about what most magicians have their minds focused on. That is behind the scenes stuff. The customer cares what they'll get. You be a typical customer searching for a magician for a children's show. Which one of these ads would you call first? Some of the benefits you might consider, affordable price, live rabbit, free something, and the like. If you decide to run a display ad, use your most valuable space at the top to rivet the client's interest. The most common mistake made by Yellow Pages advertisers and the biggest waste of prime advertising space is using a company name or logo at the top of the ad, at the header. Don't use that most expensive ad space, what the reader looks at first to announce your name. Nobody cares. Don't let the Yellow Page Company do the ad design and layout. Big mistake. The Yellow Page Companies have no incentive to make your ad work. They don't care how much money you'll make. They only care how much money they'll make by selling you something fancy. Remember the need to tie your various promotional efforts together. Include your website address. All lowercase, you have to specify everything when you're dealing with the yellow pages. Before you say goodbye to the salesman, insist on a proof. It'll come in the mail in time to make any needed changes. Don't neglect to proofread and fine tune if necessary immediately on receiving it. Keep the copy of the contract you receive. And keep a scrapbook with a copy of every ad you publish. Note which Yellow Pages book it came from, what year, what page number, what it cost. That information will stand you in very good stead as you make decisions for future years. Once your ad is in place, there are two things you have to keep in mind. You have to be easy to contact. You need to be the live voice that answers the phone when all the other guys the client calls have answering machines. Forward your business line to your cell phone when you're out. And once you've gone to all this trouble, you need to track which of your ads is pulling its weight. Ask each caller, did you find me in the yellow pages? Are you looking at the book right now? Can you tell me what page you found the ad on? That information is enough to tell you which ad brought in the call. Although many people write down a list of magicians to call and so aren't looking at the book when you speak with them, there will be enough people who can tell you the page number, and over time you'll see which of your advertising, your expensive advertising, is bringing you the most return.